What we do at Axel AI is help people find stuff in their media, uh, which doesn't sound like it should be so hard. Like, why can't people already find their stuff? But in the real world, we see an awful lot of these, which are just shelves and closets full of loose hard drives. And a lot of the times, the only kind of tagging that's there is like post-it notes or scotch tape on the hard drives. And then they you know, write down uh, 2017, you know, how many of you have loose hard drives? Uh, quick show of hands. Yeah, maybe half. All right, so you know, you know this phenomenon. And um, basically, it's only getting worse because with 6K and 4K cameras and some of the great new DSLRs, everybody is shooting way more footage, which means way more hard drives get filled up. And there isn't really a, a straightforward way to find anything. Plus, a lot of the better folks out there are trying to consolidate their storage, so they're saying, okay, I can bring things in from all these hard drives, but even then, it's not really searchable. Spotlight on the Mac, for instance, doesn't let you search shared volumes. This, this was from an actual post facility in Los Angeles, and they had over 100 terabytes of loose drives. And this one is from another customer of ours, Madison Square Garden in New York, they have over 50 terabytes of loose drives. Same kind of thing, except they keep them in duffel bags instead of on the shelves. Same concept. Um, so it's, it's really, you know, everywhere you go, it's just kind of proliferating. And it, there are estimates that in the, in the last year, about 200 exabytes of storage. And an exabyte, how many people know what an exabyte is? Okay, one or two people. It's a million terabytes. Another way of thinking about it is that it's a thousand petabytes, because each of those petabytes is a thousand terabytes. So 200 million terabytes of hard drives were sold in 2017 for video, just for video. There's, that represents about a quarter of the total hard drives sold in the world. And that number is going up every year because, as you know, video is just getting bigger and bigger. So in the next few years, it'll probably hit 30 and then 40 percent of all the hard drives that are being bought. Most other kinds of data are going straight to the cloud, like emails, photos. That's fine in the cloud, but video is one of the last, you know, hardcore data types that need actual hard drives. So what's, what's interesting is that there's some great trends happening. The biggest one is that the cost of storage is coming way down. So you used to have to buy an expensive sand to edit your videos. You don't have to do that anymore the cost of the technologies, whether it's local or cloud, is coming way down. And actually, Cloudian is leading the way in this because they're giving you ways to combine those into one clean front end. So Cloudian is doing, really taking advantage of the same trend we, we are. And then meanwhile, the number of people who shoot video has gone from about 150,000 teams five years ago to about 250,000 teams today and it will probably go to a half million teams in the next five years. But most of those teams are just using loose hard drives. So the challenge is how do we help them consolidate the material and make it searchable? And the other important number is how many people in the world are using media asset management type tools to search their, their storage? It used to be there were about 5,000 of those. Partly due to our efforts and a few other companies, that's now up to about 10,000 worldwide. We think that number is going to really jump to about 50,000 in the next few years as more and more people kind of hit the wall with the, kind of the maximum that they can do with these hard drives. So with all that, we expect the adoption of our kind of software to go up significantly. And this kind of just outlines where all this video is coming from. A lot of it's going to social media. A lot of it's used, being used in corporate environments, in churches, in governments, not just traditional broadcasters. So what does Axel do? It takes all of that media that you have and it presents it to you in a very simple, we call it radically simple, browser interface. So you just search for what you need to find and Axel in the background is going out and getting all the metadata about all the videos it's capturing thumbnails and previews of the videos, and even with our new AI features, it's actually able to send it out for analysis. So you can see what faces were in the video, what objects, and also with speech to text, you can find out what the people in the video were actually saying. All of that becomes searchable inside this very radically simple browser interface. 
The other big thing that we do is we don't disrupt your existing workflows. So for instance, if you use Cloudian storage, you're just going to have a folder structure. You're going to keep things the way you want them. Most media management systems in the past used to make you change all that. What we do is we just scan it the way it is. So you can keep working the way that's familiar to you, but have the benefit of all this extra technology helping you search. I think we've talked a little bit about the affordability part. The automation is key, right? Artificial intelligence for video wasn't even practical until about a year ago. People have been doing research on it for decades. It never really worked right. It, it was kind of clunky. But in the last year, if you look around the show floor, there's people like Microsoft and IBM that are showing off pretty amazing technology for searching videos. The only thing is it's all in the cloud, but all your storage is actually on those hard drives. So what we do with cloud is we help you bridge that. Suddenly that cloud technology becomes applicable to the work that you're doing right in your office. And finally, it's accessible. It used to be that you would have to build a custom app to use these tools, and we make it really simple. It looks a lot like Dropbox or Box, just on your desktop, a browser, and you can search for whatever media you need to find. So we have, actually this has been updated. We, we now have hit our 500th customer. We have 500 customers, including people like Turner, NBC Universal, BBC, Toyota. The really big companies have bought into this because it really helps them find their material quicker. What we're trying to do now is more independent producers, small post-production teams, again, the, the sports video team, the church video team, things like that. And the, the basic concept is that we use database principles and, and web server, just straight Apache web server, so that we run this front end with a database, a SQL database, and then you can connect in whichever search engines you want. So you can connect Microsoft, Google, and others. Plug them right into your material. Now some of them are free, some of them charge money. We don't want to play favorites, so we're just giving you connectors to all of them, and then you can turn on the ones that make the most sense for you. We're also announcing this hub here at the show. We're, we're in the back of the hall, uh, SL15116. So we basically just go straight back to the center aisle. But it's, you'll see these boxes in our booth. It's a little box, it's about yay big. Looks bigger on the screen. Um, and essentially, it runs everything you need on the box. So you can plug it into the network if you have a Cloudian server. You plug this into the same network. It'll scan the Cloudian server, catalog everything that's there, and make it searchable. And it costs like $4,000. So it's not a big cost if you're, if you're doing major storage build outs. This is kind of a, a rounding error. This is our team. That's me. And these other two folks are at our booth. Also, Jim Franzreb, who does our marketing, is here in the booth. So wave hi, Jim. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. So if, if there are